Come on. Can I offer you some advice? I really don't like what you're wearing. It's a dress. It is not a dress. It has a crotch. Oh. Oh, God. Don't you worry about what you eat? I'm worried about what I'm going to eat now. You're the person people see before they see me. You're my secretary. I think they see me a little different. OK, you little smart ass. I suppose you don't want the corporate credit card to help you go and buy some new clothes. Yes, I do. You don't look like someone that does. Oh, I think I look exactly like someone who does. Really? Oh, wow. Well. What are you doing? I'm just calling Alice to see if he agrees with you. Fine, have it. Thank you, Helena. You're so nice. Hi, I'm Helena, and I run a country music network. This is the guy that should have my job. This is my boss who's dating my assistant. And these are the hosts for now. These are the big shots in the music industry. And this is Three Chords from the Truth. Hands coming around, coming around, and go. Okay, my idea for a new TV show, it's called Bringing Up Gaby. Okay. Basically, it's like Will and Grace, but with a gay baby. And we know the baby's gay right away because when it comes out, the doctor's like, congratulations, it's a beautiful baby, gay man. Baby? Yeah, and it's raised by an old Chinese woman who really cracks a whip and a black dude who hates women. Demographic. It's my buddy Damien. And actually, he can play the black dude. He's got a bit of cachet. He just foreclosed in MC Hammer's house, and now Hammer's his landscaper. OK. So, Calvin, go. My show is called There's No A in Team. It's about the A team now, and they want to go country. No. In each episode, Mr. T knocks out a cowboy, gives him a pedicure, and says, I city the fool. All right, so if we don't have any more pitches, let me tell you the show that we're going to do. May I? No, because you don't know what it is. No, 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 may I, may, I, may I please pitch my show idea? Oh, uh, well, if you must. Thank you. The show idea is called The Dakota Sessions. One stage, one artist, no pyro, just a half hour of great music. OK, now, if there aren't any more pitches, so let we're not, me we're tell not you even, the show that we're going to do. So we're not even going to talk about The Dakota Sessions. Oh, Joel, people don't care if people can sing. Thank you, I just wanted to be clear on that. OK. Now. It is a countrified 2020 hosted, dragging the secrets out of the stars until they cry hard. Who's hosting this show? Well, I don't know yet, but I'm thinking a woman. I'll do it. Nope. Why not? Because um, uh, I'm really looking at someone mature, sensitive, intelligent, well-dressed, um, intelligent, worldly, well-appointed, together, well-read. And um, somebody that can really pull the stories out of like the people. Me. Calvin, you're not a woman. Hey, maybe maybe someone your height, your your eye color, your weight. Joel, if you're implying that I want to host this show myself, I don't. Of course, if somebody asked me or you know was interested, not like I would say no. <laughs> Let me get this clear. Are we nixing the whole bringing up Gaby thing? Because I could bring that to HBO. I would still like to talk about the Dakota session. Well, really, I'd like to talk about your hair. Which brings me to another point. What? That you don't like my no, hair? No, I don't like your hair because an office is only as strong as its most fashion unconscious. You know what's wrong here? Joel. No. The problem is you people are slobs. You don't dress well. You... Inner beauty is obsolete. You don't dress for the job that you want. Joel, you dress for the person's job you want. So the job that you want is apparently Columbo. <laughs> if Columbo was an old, aging hooker who forgot how old she was. <laughs> All right, then, we're adjourned. No, I did not harass her. I said it once, once. Hi. Good morning, sweetheart. Sorry, hello. Good morning, Delina. Hello. Do we have an appointment? My God, you are a sunrise. Do you know that? You are an absolute sunrise. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I got a stylist coming to see Tommy. And I want to throw some images by you first. Tommy, have you even met the stylist? No. Don't mention anything about her rack, because apparently that's harassment. Okay. 
Hundred percent. Hundred percent. You know she's trying to weed us out, right, man? Female hosts. You even allowed to say that anymore? That's a hostess, right? Well, it's sexist. You know what? Screw it. Let's just let's hit him with a lawsuit. Can we do that? Yes. Maybe. I I don't. I'm not too sure. How? We got to find out first. Joel. Joel. Oh. Okay. So something a little more relaxed. Right? Kenny Chesney. Camouflage. Cool. Beachy thing. Kenny Chesney Beach. I like beach. that. Current. <laughs> Here we go. Like beach military. That's it. It's beach military. I love it. <laughs> you and me, huh? Do you want to get married? Okay. No, I mean, not like a call. Oh, my God. I, I didn't mean to say yes. <laughs> Hello? Kidding. Hey, gorgeous. What did you run off to this morning? Thank you so much. You've done so much for my life, Elena. Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. I just want you to be okay because I'm a humanitarian and I want you to feel good about all of this. The blatant exploitation? Yeah. Well, Elena. I didn't come to this country to work at Burger Mart, okay? Would you like to see my mommy? I would love to see your mommy. Uh, let me see here. Ah, uh, there. See, she had to flee the country because uh, she was a hairdresser. Well, she's very beautiful. Uh, she was 48 when this was taken. Get out. Oh, my yeah, God, yeah. she's 48. Is mm -hmm. she at work done? No, her, her skin was protected because she wears the... Oh, yeah, she had to wear the... Well, no, no, she didn't have to. I mean, it's very good for wrinkles. SPF 15 means nothing over there. But she's beautiful. Elena, I'd like you to meet Joel. Joel is our head of production, and uh, he has an idea I think you should hear. Oh, well, it's so nice to meet you, Joel. Actually, Ellis, I, um, I think Joel's Dakota Sessions falls outside of our brand. But you didn't even listen to the pitch. Well, I didn't have to because the word session is inactive. I shoot great musicians playing sessions at the Dakota Tavern. See, Elena? That's like American Idol. Except there's no competition. Well, then how do you win? Well, it, it's just great musicians playing their great songs, no pyro, and it's, it's over. Ah, oh, so the audience wins. I think you're totally missing the point. Maybe you're missing the point, Joel. I'm sorry, I think Elena's right. Old guys and their guitars fall slightly left of our brand. I thought our brand was great music. Oh, it is, it is. Can't think of anything else to say. Well then, say that you love my new show, which is the countrified 2020 version. Uh, tell all of the stars, make them cry, pull mm. the secrets. Who's going to host it? Well, um, I was thinking somebody mature, uh, a humanitarian. I think we can cast it in-house, maybe a um, Barbara Walters type, only younger. Hell of a lot younger than Barbara Walters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Didn't she die? We're upset. No. Oh. I'm Calvin Bates, Joel. My shows have the best numbers on the network. Calvin Bates should be hosting The Crying Show. I've, I've made people cry. Who, who have you made cry? Trisha Yearwood. She was passing a kidney stone. No, no. She said the interview was like passing a kidney stone. Okay, you know what? Fact. I'm like the best interviewer around. It's because I don't ask the tough questions. I don't probe. Yeah, that's why you got that demotion scouring the country for the Toby Keith lookalike. That was a promotion. Here, Joel. Elena wants you to wear that. Are you serious? She would like us to dress better. Where's our suits? Is she firing us? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at you. You look fantastic. There's something really uncomfortable in around here. My god. She's wearing underwear. <laughs> you see, I styled Amber because I wanted her to have a point of view. Well, here's your new host. What? What? Amber? Who do we have this afternoon? I don't know. Why don't I check? Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
No, Tommy, you'll die. What are you doing? Just uh, making the clothes that Tommy arrived in. Why? Photos for his backstory, you know, like uh, press kits and stuff. You do this all the time? Or? All the time, Nick, yeah. Nick, be careful. Hey, I'm always careful. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know I'm good. Are you okay? Ah! <laughs> Crap. What's going on here? My mom was trying to steal my car. Just go with him. To feed my family. I don't want to be a no, burden uh, on no, society. He, he, wa he wasn't trying Shh. to. Ma'am, please stand back. Okay, okay, Tommy? Tommy? Angry? Arr. Okay, really happy, really happy. Okay, cool. Okay, now. You stand in here, please, sir. Just over here. Tommy, in closer. Police officer. Okay, let's get there, guys. Really close, really close together. Smile. Oh, beautiful. Can I ride with you guys? Absolutely. Uh, awesome. Nice to with you. Can I smoke? I uh, know. Yeah. Uh, Woo! -hoo. Watch your head. All right, Dylan, listen, I'll call you, okay? I, no, I'll text you. I'll, do you text? You look beautiful. All right. What questions do you have prepared today? I have a really good one. Um, when did you first know you wanted to be a country star? Oh my gosh, this is not what I had in mind. I don't want to do this. No, watch me. This is what you say. Did you ever have a 17 year old in your car? Did you ever sign a, a contract with management and label to say you needed to be under 80 pounds? Are you gonna write all this down for me? Because I'm not gonna remember all this stuff. Oh boy, you got a winner here, Helena. Dan, hi, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Okay, let's uh, just focus on the questions for a second, okay? Okay. Um, uh, nothing about rehab. Okay. Uh, nothing about the sex tape. Uh, nothing about the horse incident or the resulting footage. There was a, a horse tape? No. Okay. Uh, nothing about personal life. Can she ask what he had for breakfast? No, that gets back into rehab. Um, and what about the rider? Is everything the rider we need? Shrimp? Yeah. Cocktail sauce? Yes. Um, uh, the M&Ms with the brown ones removed? They're in my purse. Okay, good. 12 liters of expired milk. Yeah. I'll win a copy of the vagina monologues. Can't believe they're doing this, man. And you know who's not gonna be cool with it? Lee. I mean, after no, I'm gonna just like best buddy. Oh, there he is. Hey, hey buddy. Hey, Rory. It's, it's Rusty. Hey, Rusty. I'm Calvin. And then who's Rusty? Exactly. <laughs> 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 Jeez, man. These are my $1,200 boots. Hi, Lee. I'm Helena Delaney. Hello. And uh, I'm the new head of the network. And how are you? How are I've you got doing? Flu. Oh. I feel terrible. Yeah. But you look fantastic. Well, thank you. You know what? I think I have exactly what you need. Oops, I'm spilling it. There you go. Mm. There. So, what are you? Are you one of those nurturing types? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. Do it again. What? Spill me some more cold medication like that again. You're only supposed to have one. I'm a big man. Hmm. All right. There's nothing to this. Just be yourself. Okay? I don't know what that means. Oh my God. You're delicious. Always have been, darling. Wow. Huh. 
Are you going to ask a question? Yes. Oh, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Do you want to hook up later? You can't ask him that. Oh, is that on the list? The list is on the list, and you're allowed to mention the list. That hot lady with the uh, pink syrup. Pink syrup? Who gave him the pink syrup? Where are the brown m and Brown m and are just in the contract, so we're sure that people read it. Where are the brown m and In our purse. Come back, mommy nurse! Cut, print. Let's use that one. Don't worry, we can fix this. We'll just cut me in. You look good. Thank you. Can you help me fix this interview? Oh, whoa, 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 that is not fair. You know Lee's my best friend. Yeah, okay, Rory. Get in there, Calvin. When did you know that you wanted to be a country singer? Always have been, darling. Now, what makes Lee tick? Give us a few of your favorite things. Brown m and Pink syrup. Bobby knows! Well, we, we did the best we could with what we had. Is, is it the show you envision? No, it's not the show I envision. You wanted to host. No, I didn't want to host. Uh, Maybe. OK, if someone had asked me, then yes, I would have hosted the show. I, I think, actually, You'd be great. <laughs> well, thank you. Lena. What? Lee Bex has hit a tree. What? Pink lady, please. Oh, Elena. No. Well, no, it is. I mean, you're speaking English. I can understand. I know it's you. No, I'm improving my skin tone. And I'm trying not to go to jail for killing Lee Banks. I gave him the pink syrup. He hit a tree. I am an accomplice to a DUI. No, 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 no. He hit the tree on foot. He's OK? Well, no, he's actually pretty messed up. He apparently he was running very quickly when he hit the tree, but he's okay. Oh, you look really good in that suit. Thank you. Yeah. Calm down. You want to do Tom Collins? Whatever. Yeah. Oh my God. God maybe I should go talk to him. Hi, Lee, how are you? I have to know what happened between us back there. Did you slip me something? <laughs> you think I roofied you? Well, that's understandable. I've got great arms. Maybe you thought I didn't want to, but, uh, baby girl, I would hit that real hard. Lee, pretend you like me. Oh, I do like you. What's, uh, what's going on? Lee? Nick? Where's Tommy? He's in jail, in jail, in jail. Like Johnny Cash, it's fantastic. So, uh, heard you hit a tree, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Elena and I got into the pink syrup, <laughs> and then I fell. Head over heels. Uh, wow, that's, uh, congratulations to you both, huh? Huh? Yeah, thanks, Mick. <laughs> okay, man, watch it. Guys. Mick, he's hey. disabled, for God's sake! Oh, oh my God! <sighs> what the hell, Lee? You can't kick in a wheelchair fight? What the hell is a wheelchair fight? Uh, it's when one man fights another man who happens to be in a wheelchair? Oh, so that's a thing, is it? Yeah, and you cheated. What do you mean I cheated? Let's see, Lee. Um, when I was getting ready to fight you, I strategized. And that strategy, I did not list legs amongst your assets. Obviously. Scandalous. And that's pathetic, Mick. Oh, I'm pathetic, am yeah, I? Yeah, really pathetic. Uh, uh, do you want a drink? What? A <sighs> drink. Do you, want, do you want a drink? Beer. Two beers, Joel. Shot of vodka. Listen, if you were ever looking to change your representation, man, I think you got what it takes, for real. Yeah. 
Thanks, Mick. Cool. Sit down. I'll be right back. Okay. They were fighting over me. Fantastic. Well, I just... Those two men are in our most coveted demographic. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, where did you go, huh? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hi. Saw your light on. Yeah? Have a seat. Wanted to talk about the show. Okay. Can I show you something? Yeah. Can she host the show? Oh. <laughs> Pretty hot, she huh? She sure could. <laughs> God damn it, Helena. Mm. Pretty hot, huh? God damn it. <laughs> Aging's a damn shame, isn't it? I don't think I look that much different. <laughs> I don't. Probably you're a funny lady. <laughs> well, I guess I should be a comedian then. But you're probably too old. Uh, I'm giving the money to Joel to do the Dakota sessions. I thought you passed on that idea. Have you seen him lately? He looks fantastic. The way he's dressing, he's powerless to say no. Of course you were. <laughs> Alice, are you canceling my show? Have to, babe. There are naked pictures of you on the internet. There is no nudity in country, honey. You put the naked pictures of me on the internet. I know. But come on. I'm gonna be late. Later. Later. Good night. What are you and I gonna do tonight? Does it make you sad? Next time on Three Chords from the Truth. Dak Adams is here. Who? Dr. Adams. Whoa! Oh. Gotcha. You did, yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm going to save the network. Who the fuck are you? Oh my god, you're in his bathroom! Well, good luck with that. Does it bring